this is me. Yes, I do love yarn. I am madly in love with yarn. I'm also madly in love with plants and books, but I don't have as many of them now. Now here's the deal. I wonder sometimes why I have so much yarn and why I don't get all of the things done that I need to get done. Like writing patterns, keeping up with my Instagram, all the things. And it's because I let my obsessions take over my life. No joke. Welcome to today's show, Yarny Friends. My name is Ginger. I am the Yarn Geek. I don't know if you can see, but I've rearranged a room a little bit. And I had some help from Mr. Geek because I think he was kind of feeling bad that he changed his clothes. Okay, never mind about that. If you like yarn, seeing an addictive personality trying to figure themselves out, then you've come to the right place. My current obsession is yarn. And I would say I've been obsessed with yarn for a very long time. Um, well, I've been crocheting for 41 years and I haven't been collecting yarn as much throughout those 41 years as I do now. I did go through a period where I worked at Lowe's and Home Depot in the lawn and garden department and I had over 250 house plants. At this time I was at the <laughs> I was not collecting yarn at that time. I was a bit overboard on the house plants. You could not step an area in my house where there was not house plants. I still love house plants, but at this time I'm not hoarding them. I only think I have about maybe 20. I did buy a new one the other day. Thank you, Julie. My friend Julie the Whippy Chick loves house plants too. And uh, I'm kind of thinking about getting some more plants. But I would say my house plant phase was about five years long. <laughs> my house plant phase ended when, well, I mean, I still love my house plants, but I had a total. Let's just say I went through a major life change and a bunch of my house plants ended up dying. So, <laughs> that's the thing about house plants is that they can die. So we don't like that. I love yarn because it never dies. I've had some of the same yarn for 20 years. What's another thing I collected? <gasps> Books. All of these shelves at one time, well, except for the crates, all of these shelves were filled with books. We literally had six Barnes and Noble bookshelves full of books and twice as many other bookshelves. We have since gotten rid of them. They broke from the weight of the books. So I got lighter things. I put yarn on my bookshelves. But seriously, we had a lot of books. I love books. In fact, let me go show you. I can't, of course, I can't show you my houseplant collection because it died. See, I don't have that many books anymore. I just have this bookshelf full of books and those are games up there. I need to get rid of some of those games. But clearly I have gotten rid of a lot of books and I've come down to the ones that I really just could never ever get rid of. We probably had 10 times as many books. I'm not joking. Another thing is pictures. Okay, it's a good thing that digital pictures came along because otherwise 
I would have like 10 times as many photo books, pictures. Now, granted, I have a lot of kids. Here's a picture of Brandy. Isn't she adorable? When she was in first grade. Here's some more pictures of my kids. I've got to get these up on the wall. But see, here's the thing I run into. I have got all this yarn that <laughs> I love, but it's totally taken over my life. And that is what happened with my plants. They totally took over my life to the detriment of everything else in my life. And you think you're just going to have enough hours in the day, but it turns out there aren't enough hours in the day to do all the things that need to be done with all this yarn. These all down here, oh, that's my kitty cat bed for Penelope. These all are like current whips and scrap yarn. Let me go back behind. Let's see if I can just uh, go back down here. Yeah, there's my yarn down there. The lamp is right on the other side of it. So I'm not going to move the lamp because I actually like the lighting that it's providing. Oh, but look, I did. I did move my yarn room around enough that I have my desk, I have a chair, and I have all of the, oh, back there. Yikes, I'm going to need to turn these lights off. Those are all of my UFOs and other whips. And these are miscellaneous whips and some yarn and that's my floor yeah still have a clean floor those are pillows that i'm going to be making a poof with there's my brand new vacuum cleaner that i got yesterday that i've been cleaning the heck out of my carpet with here is some more yarn right up there and inside my closet, more, 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 more. This is me. Yes, I do love yarn. I am madly in love with yarn. I'm also madly in love with plants and books, but I don't have as many of them now. Now here's the deal. I wonder sometimes why I have so much yarn and why I don't get all of the things done that I need to get done. Like writing patterns, keeping up with my Instagram, all the things. And it's because I let my obsessions take over my life. No joke. I think what is very important, at least to me, and it's got to be to a few of you, is finding balance. I've done it before. I've had periods in my life where I've actually been balanced. It's hard to do that because that requires not obsessing about things as much. And I don't know what that obsession's all about. I do know that... It helps when you have so many of one thing to not have to focus on anything else. And I mean, we all have psychological issues. And it's so much more happy in the moment to go shopping for yarn or to go shopping for plants or to go shopping for books or go find all of these things on sale than it is to actually take stock of things like 
actual life. I'm not trying to get too serious here. My goal with this is to find balance so that the yarn can be more enjoyed and loved. And so I can be more productive in writing patterns, making tutorials, those things that I love to do because I love to share everything I know with you guys. I know that there are a lot of you out there who have the same issues I have and we don't talk about it and that's okay. We, we, you know, you don't necessarily need to talk about that stuff, but I do think what is important is that we recognize this fact and then take action to work on it. I don't ever want to stop my yarn. I don't ever want to stop my plants. I don't ever want to stop my books. I always want to have lots of those things. But I do want to balance those things with my life so that I can be more productive, creative, and more helpful to anybody who is going through this also. And the thing is, is I know that this is not a stuck point. I mean, it can be a stuck point if, if I let it be. I can like sit here and drown in my plants or my yarn or my pictures or my books and be totally, totally, you know, happy. But not really because I'm just covering up all of these things that I'm avoiding. And it's not that I'm avoiding, I, I guess it's twofold. I'm avoiding things I don't want to deal with. And I'm also finding that I'm avoiding things that I do want to deal with. That like, like family or progressing in life. So I'm not meaning to get all deep here. This is not, this is not meant to be a deep video. This is meant to be a very positive, we can do it video because I have to remember. I have to remember that I've done it before. I've, I've gotten through these addictive spells. I've gotten through these things. I would like to be able to share what I can in order to help those of you that maybe like me too. Now, of course, I will never stop talking about the wonders of yarn because yarn is absolutely wonderful. I just want y'all to know that I recognize I am totally obsessed and addicted to yarn. Totally. Okay. It, it's, it's the one that's coming through right now. Totally ob obsessed and addicted to plants. Totally obsessed and addicted to books and my pictures. I want it to not stand in the way of other things that I want to do with these things, with my family, with my life, with you guys. I don't know if you guys ever get stuck in a spot where you're sitting in the middle of your yarn room or whatever it is, you know, whether it's you collect clothes or you collect shoes or just whatever, and are thinking, oh, oh my gosh, I'm paralyzed. I can't move because I have so much damn yarn. But I don't want to get rid of it. But it's all, it's it's all a matter of seeking balance, and and that's what I'm doing. And I've come up with a few things that I know work. Um, some of them I'm not prepared to do right now. Like for one, I know that if I focus a little bit more on some physical activity and go out and maybe go take a walk every morning, that that will help to clear out the cobwebs and to get a little motivated start on the day. But I'm not ready to do that yet. 
also, I do know that having a set schedule helps. I have tried many times to make a set schedule and what seems to work for me is I have to have things in place that I can't miss in order to keep that set schedule. Like going to watch Emmy every morning, 7.30 to 11.30 every weekday morning. That's a set schedule. That gives me a, that gives me a beginning of my day. Then I have my lives during the week. I have on Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Affordably Geeky with Kim. And then oh, from Affordably Crafty. And then on Friday afternoons, I have my Yarn Geek Live at noon. And these are all central time. And then Saturday is Affordably Geeky at 7 a.m. Central Time in Yarn Hookers, 4 p.m. Central Time. And that's a set schedule. So those kind of give me the, the bones to kind of structure things. But I, I need more. I need more structure added in there. Those are kind of some bare structures. That's a good start. And I'm just saying this for me. If it helps you, that's wonderful. What I need is not what everybody else needs. So, I mean, I know I need yarn and I know all you guys need yarn. Let's not get ridiculous. The whole reason I want to get balanced is so that life is better. We all want to always make life better, always improve. I turned 51 this year, but the way I see it is life has just begun. And why has it begun? Because everything else is already over. And there's a whole bunch of life ahead. So I can either do something about it or, or not. And I want to grow. Life is growth. Never stop growing. Never stop learning. Never stop trying to better yourself. Never stop trying to better yourself for those around you and to make things better for those around you and to make the world a more positive place. That's what I want to do with these videos. I want to make my videos be a positive experience for myself and for you guys. But I, I know when I go to watch a video, I watch people who inspire me. I watch people who I love to watch because they're funny or what they say helps me, or what they say gives me inspiration, or, you know, a number of those things. And, you know, I know a lot of times I get on here, I show all my yarn, I'm like, I got a lot of yarn, but there's so much more behind that. I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way. So the way I look at it is... There's no beginning and end. You know, once you're alive, there's no beginning and end to improving yourself. It just goes on and on and on. The way I look at life is you never graduate, you know, until you die. We all help each other. That's part of being a community. That's what I love about this yarn community. We all help each other tremendously. You guys help me in the fact that you give me a reason along with my family to keep improving myself. I would love to be here and know that what I'm talking about, even if I don't know it, even if there are things that I do that I'm oblivious to help somebody. I think that's part of being part of the world, being part of a community, being part of each other's lives, even though we may never meet. I feel like we know each other. You guys are all my friends. And that I, I will not stop feeling that way. Whew. 
this is a little different than talking about yarn, but it's how I really feel. I know there was some more stuff I was going to say. But I don't know what it is. So, just so you know, my videos aren't going to start being like this all the time. I want to be fun, positive, encouraging. I want to show you guys all the wonderful yarn, make videos, make tutorials, write patterns. I want to inspire and encourage and, you know, all that stuff through yarn because it's awesome. That's what's been on my mind today. And I think that's why I've been in a funk the last couple of weeks, because I just have not been able to function, if you can say that. And that's why I haven't put out as much videos. I mean, yes, and I've been watching Emmy in the mornings, and I think that kind of uh, jump-started me wanting to get more balanced with everything. So... I'm sorry if there are some of you who are like, oh my God, this is not what I signed up to watch Yarn Geek for. I'm not going to have a lot of videos like this, but every once in a while, I just really need to tell you guys how I feel. I would love, I, I love it when people tell me how they feel. That's why I went to school for psychology. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. The next video I make will be so much more upbeat, I promise. But in an odd way, I feel like this one is upbeat. And encouraging and positive. You all have an amazing day and night. And I will see you soon. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Welcome, nerdy friends. My name is Ginger. I am the Yarn Geek. Because we have since got rid of... We have since got rid of some of them because... Watch my dear. What's it called?